A realistic EV glass can be tricky, but not hard, and I will show you how to take it to the next level with easy steps. So if you're new, like the video, subscribe, and let's roll. I will start by checking the ambient, the bloom, and the space reflections. We will leave the refraction off for now. With the object selected, let's add a new material, and an easy way to achieve glass with this principled BSDF is to make the roughness zero, the transmission to one, then enable the refraction and the ray trace refract in the material to give you something like this, which is decent for a fast glass shader, and you can play with the refraction depth to get some nice smooth glass. However, we will push it a bit further. Let's change the principled node to a glass one, switch the refract depth back to zero for now, and make the blend mode on alpha blend. Cool? Cool. Back to the nodes, let's add a texture coordinate and a vector math node, two of the last one, so shift D to copy it. The first vector math will be on refract, the second on multiply, then connect them like shown, the generated and object coordinates to the first vector math, the reflection coordinate to the second, and connect the last vector to the glass normal. The values we need to control now are the IOR in the refract math and the refraction depth in the material settings, and I found that a value of 0.2 to 0.4 works great. But do experiment with it to get the best glass for your project. With this, you go from ultra-transparent glass to a more dynamic and realistic one in EV. And that's it. Remember, glass do make things look thick as hell, so chill while working. Stay sharp. Goodbye. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around.